Hello. I don't know if I see worse with or without these things on. You guys, I have to be honest with you right now. After the way my internet's performing and my cooling fan, I'm about to give up on this whole live stream. <laughs> Says nobody's in here, but I got a thumbs up. Like, this is just everyday shit. What's up? What's up, guys? What's goody, mob? Mandy mob. Slob on my knob. What's up? What do you guys do? So I work graveyard all night. Uh, hit up a little local bar. Lost some money for sure. Uh, but I'm hitting up the pool. Dude, I can't see shit, guys. Hi, can you see me? <laughs> if it sucks, let me know. I don't know. It's way harder than I remember for the setup out here. I just haven't been out here as much, or I'm not as drunk, or I don't know. Or it takes more work. I got the cooling fans on. Barely. Barely. Hi, Harlem Vasquez. How are you, lover? What are you doing on your Sunday fun day? Do you guys know how much this bottle was this morning before work? <laughs> yeah, I said that. Um, I don't understand why this is acting like that with the cooling fan. Uh, thirty-two dollars, like, and it was like the most hoodiest, like, bum of like, all fucking bum spots, and I was like, oh, I can either get a cheeseburger or I can sneak vodka into my water bottle, and be asked to like six different people that I've changed. <laughs> I didn't get the cheeseburger, and you know what's funny is I got to work and it was National Cheeseburger Day. Sorry if that's distracting, guys. Like the sensation going on um it's distracting to me work where do you work harlem oh, i mean i can push it back i can move it all together i was trying to find a fun spot where i could get a little sun um hi guys hi uh, you guys i feel like we should really talk about our feelings today get it all out you guys have any questions or anything to say? I feel like I'm probably going to have to move to that table, right? Because this is too much, right? This is too much. Hold on. Jeez. Just leave my days the Duke song. All right. We're moving. We're moving, guys. Sorry. <sighs> Fuck. What is the point of having this huge bar if I can't even use it? Bitch. Hi. I'm here. I'm back. Okay, it's not flashing so bad now. Half of you are gone, but, you know, we weed out the pussies that way. It's okay. I'm not getting any sun here for real, for real. So, I feel like I should go skinny that thing. Not right this second, but you know what? All right. Can't see. Dude, either way, this is a douchebaggy view. What happened? I was like kind of happy over there. Is this thing still going? There's three fans under this thing. It shouldn't be that hot. I've been out here when it was way hotter. So, yeah. Um, that's just kind of slow work for me. And then I gambled. I really got to stop gambling. But I love the bartender. I love the bar. And I always meet some weird random dude that I'm not going to date every time I go there. But it's still entertaining. So, that's, that's fine. I have a shot glass, but we're going to make one. We'll make a hillbilly shot glass. Oh, this pool's going to be nice. The bartender was like, get some sleep. I, I wish I got sleep when I was supposed to get sleep. I never do. That's part of my fucking problem. <laughs> yeah. 
I had like three packs of papers, lost those. So, okay, so on my really shaky days, <laughs> when I get the plastic gallons of vodka, the top is a perfect shot glass, just like the 1800 bottle. I don't know if you guys know about that life. I love this Simply Lemonade shit. And if you're really smart and redneck about it, back to the cooling pad because you're flickering, uh, it's got its own shot glass. And me being a bartender for 20 years can tell you this is a perfect shot. I would be willing to measure it down to the jigger. And no, that's not a racist from jigger means 1.25 ounces. It's bartender slang. Uh, what do we cheers and do to Harlem and his, I hope you have a wonderful day at work uh, and cheers to me being offline and cheers to all my Mandy mob on Sunday fun day. Let's do this. Let's do this. And I'm really fun at parties, guys. I'm just saying. $32 a bottle? What is this bottle, sir? I mean, I know. I know this shit went for like 23 bucks a bottle. And it probably does. If you don't go to where I go to. Which was... It's always when you really need it and you don't have time and you're like, yeah, 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 I'll just pay for that. But guys, uh, I see my personal trainer in three days. Oh. I don't know what that is. I hope he's not watching. But if he is, it's okay because we're honest with each other. But I see, I'm sure he has way better stuff to do. I see my personal trainer in three days, so I have to have it together by then. He's going to ask me questions like, what have you been up to? Uh, have you been working out? What have you been eating? What have you been drinking? Have you seen Tunnel Guy? He's going to ask me all that. So I got to not lie. I just got to be prepared come back with some good answers so I have Monday Tuesday Wednesday morning to put in work to do that all right guys what else should we talk about um there is kind of something on my mind believe it or not guys it's not about a dude <laughs> um that I'd like to get off my chest <gasps> rank shooter what's up I don't know if I like Mandy Poo. That almost sounds like Pookie, and I'm over those days. <laughs> You're my home, though. What up? Um, what's up? What are you doing? So, do you guys want to hear about my issue? I don't think you'll care. Because, like, luckily I have all guys in here. I'm going to talk about it anyway. Um, so, not about some rando dude. So, you guys. I made friends with this chick. You know I don't like chicks, right? And because I'm so open about drug use on my channel, a lot of drug addicts slash ex-drug addicts slash people can relate to me, right? Because I don't bullshit. They like a real motherfucker. Okay. So I get a lot of ex-drug addicts. You know what? Even I'm judgy about drug addicts. Like... There's drug addicts, and then there's, like, drug addicts that are recovering, and then there's drug addicts that want to get their life together, right? And then there's people that are always, like, the victims, and I fucking, I don't care. I know this sounds bitchy. I discriminate. I don't like heroin addicts. I don't. Like, I'll take a crackhead. I'll take a meth head over anybody. But, like, heroin addicts will just, like, dude, they get so sick, they lost, like a, like, a shell of their soul. So she's, like, more on that side. Where I'm on this side, right? We became friends for a while via like YouTube and more than that. Like we talked on the phone every day and shit, but this bitch has lost her goddamn mind. And if you're watching, bitch, you're not surprised. She's trying to compare herself to me. Like I have a career, I have like goals and aspirations. Like, uh, 
I maybe dabbled a couple times since I've been on her. This is just straight high, like on animal tranquilizers, like all the time. I'm not even going to get into the logistics of everything that would really make it bad because I'm not out here to like rub salt in her crazy wounds. Um, but she's coming for me, guys. And you guys know that I have a snapping point. And I'm trying not to expose anything. Because y'all would know who she is. But she fucking pissed me off today, dude. She fucking pissed me off. I, I told her off. I'm like, bitch, don't even fucking compare us. Like, dude, you got a husband you cheat on. You're hanging around a bunch of heroin addicts. You got a daughter who lives in a shed. That sounds pretty really fucked up, right, guys? Like, say it out loud. I'm not going to mention any names. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm going to pull the exclusive card. I've learned from actually fucking a friend over that I actually thought was pretty rad. I didn't fuck him over, but I blew him out when I shouldn't have blew him out, which was BB. I haven't really wanted to blow anybody out since then. That's not saying I won't, guys. I will. I will do it. But, um, I don't know. I try to stick by, like, uh, tree people the way... Ew, sorry. There's, like, a really weird branch or something in that tree. And I'm, like, trying to see if it is bugs or if it's going to land on me. Um, treat people the way you want to be treated, not, like, blow them out. I don't know. Because, guys, here's the thing. If people think I'm mean and harsh, but if I really told you what I thought about you, <laughs> you'd cry yourself to sleep at night. Like, so... I'm not even saying that's not I'm cool. That's just like a real valid opinion. I'm trying to be nice nowadays, guys, but it's hard, especially being more sober and everything. Uh, I'm not really one to like be nice or like kiss ass to save people's feelings because I don't ask people to do that for me ever. Burr. I don't even like it like that. Like I like it rough. Anyway. Sunday fun day. So, is everybody working? Everybody's working? Yeah, I mean, I was working until like 8 a.m. And then I quit, dude. I mean, not I quit. But like, it is time for me to go. I lost some money. I had like, oh, sorry. Someone's like biting me. Ow. Probably, um, and then I had like half a French dip. Some money rings. Not bad. And now I'm just drinking vodka out the bottle. I'm about to get my full chat with you guys. I hope, you know, I can keep the conversation going today as I normally do, but I hope you guys do. I hope you guys come up with some interesting questions, remarks, comments. Y'all are coming in pretty pretty decently. Oh, in and out. What is, what is this? It's rough. Is the, is the video shit, guys? Can you, like, see me? Do I look whited out? I tried to get in a better angle. Watch me drop a whole gallon of, like, <coughs> simply lemonade on my shit. Wouldn't that be some asshole shit I deserve? Probably. Probably. Right now, I'm enjoying my single life. Because, um, technically, I'm single. And, uh, technically, I have a boyfriend in jail. Ooh, there's the fan. I just broke that. Even my fans talking with me, like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, bag that, bag that. Um, give me 50 feet. Nailed it. JK, what you think about that? All right, shot. How about a shooter? You guys, let's get wasted. Like, dude, the only thing I'm missing right now is the ice cream truck. <laughs> I went back and watched my videos. It's pretty funny how much I talk about an ice cream truck and like a plethora of different videos. If this weird shit doesn't get quit falling on me. But yeah, I would love a good ice cream truck right now. Last time I scared the straight family. I was so fucked up. Remember, guys? I had to spit the bubble gum out. Yes, she did. I thought about inviting my landlord out here, but that's weird because it's his house, right? <laughs> and he thinks I'm fucking nuts. He'd be like, oh, no, I think I'm just going to go to the arts. It is windy as a mother. Oh. Ew. Something just fell in my hair. 
This is way too outdoorsy for me right now. I don't remember it being like this last year, but I was also blacked out of my mind. That's maybe what I need to do. We'll get the live set going. Black myself out of my mind. You guys, thanks to the daddy for the swimsuit. Um, let's do that. Let's get blacked out. I think that's what I need to do. I'm only a stone's throw away. I'll get the radio going. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's do that. Where's my homeboys at? This is the first time I went out here without sunscreen, but I thought, fuck, dude, it's September. Like, if your ass burns, let it turn into a tan. That's kind of cancer y sounding. Mm. You guys think it's doing better than it normally does on lives? Like, I really did get this whole fucking nerdy ass cooling fan. I don't know about this life, guys. I'm. I'm trying to be a better YouTuber, guys. Uh, trying. Trying to be more professional. I got a professional top, I feel like, compared to most of my bikinis. All right. Let's just be fun and talk shit on somebody. Bring up a topic. Anybody? Mm -hmm. oh. All right. All right, I'm getting wasted. That's oh, gross! There's something black in my shot. What's that? You see? I'm not drinking that. Ew! I'm not drinking that. Why is nobody saying anything? Because you're hard live stream. I always have to carry the weight, and I get that. I get that I'm the live streamer. Uh, but normally, people ask questions or bring up topics. You guys are either, you guys are like creepier than I am or more like hiding out or stalkery. I have some people I stalk. I get it. I know everybody that stalks me just happens to be in here. It's fucking weird. All right. Cheers. A really bad dad joke, but I don't know if I'm going to tell it. But what's funnier is you kind of had to be there, which nobody wants to hear that before they hear a joke. But like, it was told to me by this old Filipino dude, and I'm going to get my radio on that. What he said, Mandy. He said I have a joke to tell you. He goes. It's a Mexican joke. <laughs> and I said, okay. And he said, so there's this Mexican guy. And he's a handyman. And he needs money to take care of his family. And I said, okay. And he's like, so he keeps going door to door, knocking on the door. Like, hey, I'm a handyman. Do you have any work for me? He's like, I need to do work for my family. And everybody's like, no, no, no. And like, keep sending him along, right? So finally, he goes to this guy. And he goes, hey. Oh, shit. I caught my dong under the... Hey, I'm a handyman. He's like, do you have any work for me? And the guy says, well, I have a porch. He goes, it needs to paint it. He's like, oh, I can do it. I can do it. And he's like, well, it's a big porch. And he goes, well, like, what color do you want? He goes, oh, don't worry. He goes, I already got all the paint in the garage, the brushes, the everything. Just, like, go ahead and do it. So the Mexican dude's like, no problem. I do, I do, I got it, I got it. So he goes out. And like two hours later, he's back. And he knocks on the guy's door so proud. Like he wants all this money. He's like, oh, he's like, I painted. He's like, I painted your porch. I painted your porch. When the guy's like, really already? And he goes, yeah, I do for you. He goes, but you told me you had a Porsche. It's a Ferrari. <laughs> I told you guys it was a dad joke, but I thought that shit was hilarious. Maybe you got to be like a 60-year-old Filipino man telling it with an accent. That really... Pierre Dusté de Tabernacle. Uh, no, bro. That was like two years ago. I don't know what... Do like, Dostier of the Tabernacle? That sounds like, like a hot hockey player of the bar. Where'd you get that fucking name? That's a weird troll name. Are you from Canada? No. 
Anybody else get questions? Ooh, is this thing on? Is this thing on? <laughs> yeah, now would be a good time to start doing more shots. Uh, thank you, Pierre. The answer is negatory. But good guy. Good guy. Good guy. Um, Ring Shooter, are you still here? Will help. Why is your name called Ring Shooter? Are you like in the army or something? Harlem Vasquez, are, are you still? Why is everybody going quiet right now? I don't know why I got weirded out by that question. I just feel like there's so many things we could talk about that are equally as weird. Um, come on in, guys. Come on in. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. I want you to drive and collapse. Harlem's been with me through through the through the shits. He's, I think you've been with me for like a year, right? Mm. Where's the ice cream guy when you need him now? Oh. What makes you ask that, Pierre? Yes, I am in Nevada. I'm in Las Vegas, baby. Notice the palms. And these weird fucking things that keep flying out of me. Like, it's grossing me out. I don't know what that is. I have to have a cooling pad under my fucking laptop just to keep the session on right now. Money into this equipment, and for what? Detroit Wood. I don't want to put this on if anything, I should put the lemonade on the ground, right? Yeah. He said, yeah, I'm driving, bitch. You can handle these people on your own. I do feel like the pool parties were more lit last year. I haven't done a lot. Like, I've actually been working a lot. Like, when I first came out here, guys, I was lonely AF. This was right before, shall I say, my first Las Vegas boyfriend will just call him up. And, uh, yeah, I was getting wild, dude. I was getting fucking shitty out of here. But it was fun. And my fucking lives were lit. Like, it was like, like, it was super lit. I miss that. I miss all that, guys. Come on in. What am I drinking? Pretty much what we've been drinking since 8 a.m. Shots of Kettle One in Miller Light. And I'm smoking a little, um, I think this is called Great Cake. Or something like that. What are you doing, Pierre? You off today? Like, I try to put the sunglasses on not to be a douche because I can't see, but it's not, like, helping me see anymore. So now I just look like a weird BC boy is like, Yo, I drink brass monkey. I like to be funky. Like, what the fuck? I can't see shit. You're working or you're drinking or both. I like to do both myself. It makes me way more productive. I feel like you said you look. Where's like Jersey Deep and Chihuahua Boy? And so, not that I don't love you guys. In fact, okay, let me, can I ask you guys? Because I know you guys are fucking pretty much dudes in here, right? Real talk. You know, I won't get mad. Oh, shout out to Florida. Okay, I got some peeps out there. I really want to know the truth, guys. Okay, are you ready? Drinking wine. Okay, all right. So, my channel used to be 70% dudes. And now it's 18% dudes. I see the numbers dropping as I broach the subject. But I want to hear it from some real dudes that have been on my channel. Why is that? Why is the dude number dropping? Like, is it because I talk about other dudes? Is it because I talk about my feelings? Is because I'm not out here wasted showing my tits anymore? I wasn't really showing my tits, but you know what I'm saying. Like, uh, what, what's going on? Where's all the dudes at? And what's funny is right now I have a live and it's completely, I guarantee you, five dudes. Three talking, three in the cut. Because I probably know them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what happened with the dude situation? Can Why I got all you dudes in the room? Can you please just elaborate? Let's talk about it. Let's be real. Dudes out here.
kids. Mm -hmm. And if there's any bitches in here, they're hiding out because they're being sneaky because they don't want to say shit. I guess it's because you had a boyfriend. Dude, I haven't had a boyfriend for real since like... Fuck. I mean, since St. Louis. <laughs> no, like, I dated trash. But that, I don't think that stopped anybody from watching. Like, okay, I watch hot guy YouTubers and hot girl YouTubers all the time, right? And, yeah, I judge who they're with. I get it. That's part of the fun, right, guys? But I would never, like, watch a dude and, like, want his dick and be like, oh, and maybe this is the difference between guy and girl mentality. This is what I'm trying to figure out. Because I did have a very successful, uber successful guy YouTuber be like, Mandy, these dudes don't want to see you out here without makeup. They want to see you girlied up. Because you guys know I come on at all times. Like, yeah, sometimes I'll have makeup. But sometimes I come on, like, after a fucking bender out of bed. Like, bleh, with a cheeseburger hanging out my lip. And I show it all. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, this dude, this dude, this dude. He's like. They don't want to ever see you with this dude. But here's the deal. Like, I'm never, never, like, successfully happy with the guys you see me with, which I think makes it more entertaining. I mean, at least I, it would be that way if I were watching somebody. So, one, I did have a dude say, like, don't go on here with showing your dudes. But I've been showing dudes the whole time. So, why is it suddenly now that, uh... Like, I don't have any fucking dudes. Am I being too, like, emotional? Like, it, it's hard. Like, I don't know how to hang out with chicks, guys. That's really a chick right now. That's why I'm not answering. That's how... Please hit me with one more fucking leaf. Look at this bullshit. It is... Like, I think the messy dudes make it more funny. Like... But that, again, could be a girl perspective. Or... Um, but yo, thank you for giving your opinion. That's one opinion. There's five more of you out there. Harlem, I think, I think I love you for saying that. I appreciate that. But no. Oh. You guys, now my battery's running low. I gotta see if I gotta plug out here. Are you kidding me? It's all because this stupid cooling fan. This is like out of control, guys. Like... This is an H3H3. Why do I need all this fucking shit? I don't know where a plug is. <laughs> so now I have to decide, do we want to live stream or do I want to plug this in? Or that's right, practically the same question. You guys, should I keep the live stream going for a little bit? I could give it a half hour. I could give my live streams an hour. You tell me. If you guys got better shit to do, I'll, ooh, I'll go lay in the pool. Who's hanging in? <sighs> Every man is watching a woman with someone erotic thinking. What? Say that again. Wait. Every man is watching a woman oh so you're saying basically in layman's terms a dude's not watching you unless he wants to fuck you is that what you're supposed to mean and we can go on from there I'm going to have to plug this in this conversation is getting semi deep okay okay alright fair fair uh, a lot of my guy friends would agree with that. I won't say that girls are necessarily the same way. I really won't. Um, that's why we're fucking weird creatures. Let me take it to this pipe. And then, okay, but I will say this. Okay, so say you watch a girl because you want to fuck her on YouTube. Facts. Okay? This is the question, guys. Everybody chime in. Say you're watching a girl because you want to fuck her on YouTube. Would you stop watching her if she got a boyfriend or would you still watch her because you want to fuck her or would it depend on how fucking annoying the boyfriend is because like i did have some dudes on here that like some dudes called me up they're like yo dude <laughs> you want to fuck me but they they're like friends of mine they're like dude uh, this guy can't take him 
and it wasn't even trash. They're like, I can't, I can't watch this guy. Uh, I was about to shut your show off. And they are also the same ones that told me stop showing dudes. But I think my whole channel showing fuck ups of dudes would also on the thing make dudes be like, maybe I have a chance, right? Because like, like whenever you see somebody you really like, you always think whoever they're with is trash. They're either way, way better than you or trash. It's never like in the middle. Um, true. Depends on how sexy you are. So. I don't know if I just saw somebody that I liked with trash and I knew it wasn't going to work out and I'd be like, yeah, I could get them. And maybe that'd make me like them even more. I don't, I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore, guys. I got to plug this in. I'm going to plug this in forever and then I'm coming back out to the pool because you guys are entertaining me. So what do you guys think when you see the dudes I see on my channel? Just, just throw it out there. I'm very, um, tough. I'm curious. Shit. I shouldn't leave my baby. I'm taking a shit in. <gasps> I cannot drop my laptop. I should be out there right now. Not discussing with you dudes what you guys think of dudes, but ow! The stub my toe. That fucking sucks. But I want to know because I always have all bronze in here. I never ask. And my fucking phone is in my vagina. Oh my If I drop this, I'm crying myself. Just save the night. Okay. Okay. I had to bring it in anyway. <laughs> Shit was getting weird. Okay. Okay. A little bit of a glare. Okay, we stopped talking about it. That's okay. That's that's the dude thing to do as well. <laughs> no, I've pretty much had boyfriends the whole time. So if that's like I stop watching me, that doesn't make sense. Uh, but there's way too many broads on my chat. But nobody, no broads are in this chat right now. At least not that I know of. That's all right, though. <clears throat> So I'm going to do a couple more shots. Thank you guys for coming in and hanging out with me. I'm going to do a couple more shots and hit the streets. Yeah, we're low on likes. You know, dudes are big on views, low on likes. Girls are big on likes, low on, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I got fucking thrown off. It really pisses me off when my computer doesn't work and I bought all this like nerdy shit to help. But it's a desert. And you know what? I honestly I probably need a new computer. Uh, to be honest with you guys. But that's all right. I don't know. I think my content has pretty much been unanimously the same. Except for less wasted. <laughs> so what are your guys' plan to do? I have to clean this place. Like I haven't done laundry in like a week. <sighs> so far nobody's called me in. So that's amazing. That is amazing. I really kind of want to go down to the strip. I'm craving kind of like oh, a euro or something. You guys, like, I'm so mad because on good days, like, sometimes I just want to go out and get, like, a fucking bomb-ass room with, like, a bomb-ass shower and bidet and everything and just, like, max out. 
but I can't because I could get called in anytime I got called in last night. Uh, is this my house? Uh, this is my home. Um, so there's a guy who owns a house. And this used to be the garage. So the whole garage is my apartment. So I have my own living room, bathroom, bedroom, kitchen. It's like a full apartment. And it also used to be the Hells Angels uh, hideout. It says Angels Forever, Forever Angels on the driveway. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, it's my house. Like it's his house, but this is my house. <laughs> yeah. It's my place. And like, dude, for the first like eight months, I didn't even have blinds here. So like everything was see-through and my life was pretty crazy. <laughs> used to be called the glad. Are, where are you from here? Are you new? You don't know anything about this channel. That's okay. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, I fucking left my I have this beer. I'm drinking this beer and then I'm going out, guys. Oh, no, this beer's hot. Hold on. No. Oh, my God. My bottle of Carolina fell, but it's in, bro. I don't have a boyfriend right now, but if I did, technically he's in jail. Um, Until next week. <laughs> so it's weird. I am going through a phase. I don't know. What I'm to do. Just check out my channel. It's easier than explaining stuff. It's way easier. But yeah, no, I don't live with anybody. Like we have a hallway that like intersects like um washer and dryer but other than that we don't like share houses or anything like that we're just homeboys landlord roommate-esque shit and it sucks because i really need to do laundry but he only does laundry on sundays and i always like put it in there when i'm getting drunk and <sighs> so i'm gonna try to wait i hope i don't if i get called in today guys oh my god no thank you Yeah. All right, guys. Well, dude, I think I'm going to go out. Where the fuck is the ice cream man? All right. I'm going to do a couple shots really fast. Does anybody have any power questions? Any questions they want to answer? Any advice? Pip it Right on time because I'm about to peace out this bitch, girl. Because, like, I barely got to hit the pool. It's not any of these guys' fault. It's my fucking shitty technology. I can chat a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you gotta go. You're ditching me to go moderate on another channel? Oh, you can only chat a minute. Okay, who are you moderating on, bitch? I mean, just because I don't give out wrenches anymore. Look at you. You're too cool for school. Like, if you gotta go, go. I mean, I'm just drinking vodka. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry. And there goes. Not the roommate. Oh, this isn't the shot glass. Who, no, what channel are you moderating on? Faces of the for Is that Lamont's channel? Or, uh, wait, who's, whose channel is that? Okay, well, it sounds like something. He just started a new channel that I subscribed to, which is like similar to Lamont at large, just to like, I don't know. No, so you're, is, hmm. oh my God, you all know, like I'm late? What is Faces the Forgotten? I feel like I've been watching it. I fucking, oh, I have a cell phone right here. If anyone says his name, they're removed. Oh, well. Don't say his name then. I mean, if it's that deep, like, whoa, what a weirdo. It's another dude. Okay, okay. Oh, I got a message. Um, I feel like I've seen it, though. Like, it's kind of like, I feel like I've seen it. Oh. It's my sister sending me a picture of, look, guys, the St. Louis Cardinals game. Like, it's a big deal out there. They love their baseball. The arch is in the background. Shout out to the 314. Boop. Yes. 
Um, he is doing good. I'm proud of him. He's doing good. I don't know about his review channel, but it amuses me. I watch it anyway. Uh, no, he's doing good. I'm happy for him. I hope he stays doing good. Um, but to have like two channels so similarly, I don't know. He, you know what? We don't know what we're doing. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. And he doesn't send a lot, so that helps. <laughs> yeah, shout out to that. That line sounds so crazy. It almost sounds like a train, but it's not. It's weird. They'll have like tornado storms out here without like lightning and actually tornadoes. So what do you do when you, you just like chime in on his channel, Pippa Dot? You know, so like I met McHenry Cruiser through BB and uh, I was a moderator on his channel with other channels. So here's the thing. I never took that power because I don't want that because like I didn't like it. Like people were being sweet but to moderate my channel and I only had three moderators like the whole time I had that channel, like my whole channel. Um, I was like, whoa, 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 calm down. Because I believe, like, I want people, like, if they want to talk shit to me, talk shit to me. Like, I want it to be open on my channel. If anything is ever edited off of my channel, it's YouTube, not me. I swear. Like, come for it. Bring it. Bring it. Like, I'm not even normally going to get mad. And if I do get mad, like, I feel sorry for you. But, like, like it's not that serious. And so, like, these monitors would, like, chime in. So then all of a sudden I noticed I wasn't a moderator on, like, McHenry Cruz's channel. I was like, what happened? And this dude just kind of, like, said a sentence to me that, like, creeped me out for, like, the rest of my life. Like, I should never do that. But he said, yo, like, I made a person a moderator and he decided to be a troll and literally block every single person from my live stream. And this dude used to have, like, legit lives. Like, he had 10,000 subscribers at the time. Probably had at least 400 plus in his lives at all times. And it made me think, like, bro. Like, somebody could do that so easy. And I feel people are, like, more genuinely drawn to his channel because McHenry is just, like, his own person. He's got, like, the schizophrenia thing going on, so you got to be, like, into that. But a lot of people came uh, on my channel, like, uh, like on fight. Like, they're like, oh, this bitch is trying to talk shit about, like, they don't really know my situation or, like, know who I am. Oh, this bitch is a drug addict or oh, this bitch is trying to talk shit about this YouTuber before they actually know me. So it's like if this fucking dude can get his whole channel swiped of like 10,000 people, like I have like 1,028, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not moderating anybody and I fucking took all that shit down. Thank you. Oh, I thought you meant to me. <laughs> no, I'm a subscriber. Uh. No, I, yeah, they can totally ruin you. They can totally ruin you. Like, as soon as I saw that happen to him, I was like, I'm never making anybody a mod. Like, like that's like if you're fucking a millionaire and you make anybody, like, your wife or your husband without, like, a, what do you call that? That little deal you make? Pre, pre, uh, help me out. Even if you know them and trust them, dude, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And then, uh, dude, my advice to any creators don't have mods. You can do other things like supporters, friends, fans. I will never give one. I will never after that day. I learned my lesson vicariously. Thank God through somebody else. Cause it only takes one little shithead. And I know all the spite out here. I would never have one moderator. Like, if you're a real homie of my channel and a supporter, we're in contact. You know who you are. You know when you come in the chats. You know your comments. Like, you don't have to have a wrench in front of you. And I see how that can build relations until you learn how it can't. And there's, like, a lot of unstable people out there, believe it or not, guys, like, that watch my fucking channel, everybody's channel. Like, weirdos, you know? You don't need a mod. It's almost like, um... 
it's almost like a compliment. Like, yo, dude, you're one of my favorite subscribers. I'm going to give you the power to like kick somebody out and like have a little power. But they don't realize when you do that, you are literally granting somebody the power from your channel. So like, dude, if I came on Pierre and like you were just like hot as shit and I fucking hated all bitches and you had like 99 bitches and like 181, like I fucking blocked all 99 bitches. You could do nothing about it once you gave me that wrench. And that's what a lot of people fail to realize. It takes who the fuck is going to blow me up. That's what I'm worried about. Probably nobody I fucking care about right now because nobody I care about is the ones blowing me up. I guarantee it. Um, Exactly. It's never the ones you fucking give a shit about that are doing that. That's why I'm not even looking at my phone. I got one in jail, one that's not calling me. Mm, if they were family, they were dead, they'd call me. It's just some crazy bitch shit. Or a little dude bitch. I'm not even going to look at it. There is room for everybody in room YouTube. But I mean, just to like recklessly destroy each other's channel... There's people that just live for that all day. They don't actually want to catch a podcast. They just want to troll or like ruin somebody's life or like cause distress. So when you say here is the key to my channel, you know how much like you're really like risking. So I don't do it. And I even told well, one of my mods is dead. <laughs> the other mod got shut down by another mod, which actually turned out to be YouTube. And then the other mod was Freya. Shout out to Freya. She's out there. Um, she doesn't even live in this country and she's cool as fuck. But I was like, you know, I had, to, I just told her straight up why I'm shutting it down. Like this shit's weird. They did it to my friend, McKenna Cruiser. Um, yeah, I get it. I get it. So there, you know, there, there's people that are attracted to things for all different reasons. But yeah. <laughs> but no, I love you guys. I don't want to keep you from moderating. Thank you guys for popping in my live. Sorry, I'm trying to get like the fan thing and everything, but I kind of want to go out there where I'm in the suit, you know, and like chill out in the sun. So I'm going to pop off here. But I love you all a long time. And um, I will catch up with you guys really soon. Thank you for the. Questions, comments, and concerns. I'm going. Pippadot, love you. Uh, do your moderator thing. If I had moderators, Pippadot, you'd be one. But now you know why I don't. So, all right, guys. Love you. Love you late. <laughs> Bye.